Okay, now question number four is about vertical asymptotes of the graph of f. Z number four is uh, vertical asymptotes of this function. Uh, vertical asymptotes of a function in terms of limit. definition. Uh, so the vertical asymptotes of uh, any function. Uh, define me the line x is equal to x is equal to a is a vertical asymptotes of a certain function f if the limit of the function as x approaching a from the right or a from the left okay men must attach positive infinity or negative infinity okay maninyo x is equal to some number vertical asymptotes no yemenelo limit from the right or from the left calculate another Infinity must be that. Okay, in definition in it then. Uh, question number four and inshallah. Okay, let's see the first part. Uh, the first part in uh, uh, for this function, uh, we will determine the vertical asymptotes. So uh, the function f is given by x square minus five x plus six over x cube minus eight. So it's good to factorize the numerator and the denominator. X squared minus 5x minus 6 uh, plus 6 mallet. X minus 2 times x minus 3 mallet. No, the factorized form. X cubed minus 8 mallet demo. X minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 mallet. No, you, you have to know uh, the factorization of cubic polynomial. So, uh, the domain of this function is all real number except the domain of this function is all real number except two. Okay, two mohona HLM. Whenever we substitute two, the function becomes undefined. Uh, so every number that makes the function undefined is not a vertical asymptote. Either it is a ring or Vertical asymptote no blend nominal for. So the simplified form of this one is the simplified form of the given function is f of x is equal to x minus 3 over x squared plus 2x plus 4. But we cannot substitute 2 in the function. Okay, we have to uh, restrict the value of x. x should be different from uh, 2. And uh, uh, vertical asymptote yemin felgo denominator un zero mi adergelenen no bizu bize gen mi tafa kohona vertical asymptote ayalem now let's check if x is equal to 2 is a vertical asymptote according to the definition if x is equal to 2 is a vertical asymptote the limit of the function the limit of the function uh, as x approaches to 2 must be positive infinity or negative infinity so let us evaluate this one the limit of this function as x approaches to 2 means the limit of x minus 3 over x squared plus 2x plus 4 as x approaching to uh, 2. Okay, so this means uh, if you directly substitute 2, it becomes 2 minus 3, which is minus 1. Here, 2 squared plus 2 times 2 plus 4, which is 12. You see, the limit of the limit of f of x as x approaching to 2 is not infinity rather it is minus 1 over 12 therefore x is equal to 2 is not a vertical asymptote so there is no therefore f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x 5x plus 6 over x cubed minus 8 has no vertical asymptote has no vertical asymptote. Expect men nader go two yonal belen neber two gen vertical asymptote al honem because the limit of the function as x approaching to two is not infinity. So a uh, function ring allo function in a ring allo gen vertical asymptote yen loom belen no men alfo. Now let's see the b part. In b we have the function f of x is equal to 8x minus 2x squared over x squared minus 60. 
So let us factor out this thing. 4x into 4, I mean, uh, the factorized form becomes uh, 2x into 4 minus x, okay, over x squared minus 16 means x minus 4 times x plus 4. Anyways, this can also be written as minus 2x into x minus 4 over x minus 4 times x plus 4. Okay, uh, here this can be factored out, I mean uh, simplified into minus 2x over x plus 4. But at the beginning we need to restrict the value of x. x cannot be 4, x cannot be minus 4. So uh, the simplified form of the given function is f of x is equal to minus 2x over x plus 4 is the given function. So let us see uh, what the limit looks like. So let us check the limit of f of x as x approaches to 4. So as x approaches to 4, the limit becomes the limit of minus 2x over x plus 4. As x approaches to 4 means you can directly substitute 4 over 4 plus 4. The result is minus 8 over 8, which is minus 1. You see, the limit of the function as x approaching to 4 is not, is not infinity. So, x is equal to 4 is not a vertical asymptote. Is not a vertical asymptote. Rather, there will be a ring at x is equal to 4. Similarly, let us check for the limit, the limit of f of x as x approaches to minus 4. So this becomes the limit of minus 2x over x plus 4 as x approaches to minus 4. If you directly substitute minus 4, it becomes undefined. But whenever x is getting minus 4, whenever x is getting closer and closer to minus 4, from different direction, from the right and from the left, you will get plus or minus depending on the right and the left hand limit. Therefore, this x is equal to minus 4 is a vertical asymptote. Okay, x is equal to minus 4 is a vertical asymptote for the function. So, uh, the vertical asymptote for this function is Therefore, x is equal to minus 4 is the vertical asymptote of the vertical asymptote of f. Okay, this is how we uh, determine the vertical asymptote for any rational function. As the C part and metallen, in C part we have we have a certain function f of x f of x is equal to sine of sine of x squared minus 1 over x cubed minus x. Okay, so the domain of this function is, the domain of this function is all real number, all real number, x can be any real number except minus 1, 0, and 1. Okay. So from the domain, we will pick some numbers and evaluate the limit of the function f. Okay, you want to put our nose down because the restriction is the limit as x approaches to minus one function infinity no way sadder infinity kohona vertical asymptote no more no more doubt. So we will uh, check each of them separately. So the limit of the limit of f of x as x approaches to here i'm just uh, going to check uh, for x is equal to minus one so the limit of f of x as x approaches to minus one means the limit of uh, sine of sine of x square minus one over x x cube x cubed minus x as x approaches to minus 1. This can be written as the limit of the limit of 
sine of x square minus 1 over over x into x square minus 1 as x approaches to minus 1. So this can also be written as the limit of 1 over x as x approaches to minus 1 times the limit of uh, sine of sine of x square minus 1 over x square minus 1 as x approaches to minus 1. Now you need to be uh, careful here the limit of this part is 1. Okay, uh, if, uh, if there is anyone who wants to know how this limit becomes 1, I can do this thing, a certain video separately. Uh, because, the limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches to 0, 1 milligram. So, this is equivalent. So, this part is 1. And the limit of this part is as x approaching minus 1. 1 over minus 1 is minus 1. Therefore, this limit is minus 1. Okay. The limit of, you see, the limit of f of x as x approaching to minus 1, the result is minus 1. So, so x is equal to minus 1 is not a vertical asymptote. Is not a vertical asymptote. Why? If x is equal to minus 1 is a vertical asymptote, the limit of this function, the limit of this function as x approaching to minus 1 must be infinity. This is not infinity, it's minus 1. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1 is not a vertical asymptote. So, we uh, check the other part. Now, let's check for this uh, the second case. Let's take x is equal to 0 and evaluate the limit. Limit to infinity corner, x is equal to 0. Vertical asymptote on all The limit of f of x as x approaches to 0 is the same as the limit of sine of x square minus 1 over x into x square minus 1 as x approaches to uh, 0. So this is the same as the limit of 1 over x as x approaches to 0 times the limit of sine of x square minus 1 over x square minus 1 as x approaches to 0. Okay, now this part, a part, okay, minus of sine minus 1 numero, but the limit of this part the limit of this part as x approaches to 0 1 over uh, a number very close to 0 becomes plus or minus plus or minus infinity depending on the direction that we are approaching 0 0 from the right when from the left type of infinity but uh, so uh, the limit of f of x here the limit of the limit of f of x as x approaches to 0 is plus or minus infinity. So we can say that x is equal to 0 is a vertical asymptote. Okay, we have x is equal to 0 as a vertical asymptote. Now we are left to check with 1. So let's check for 1. Okay, the 1 check another. The limit of f of x as x approaches to 1 means the limit of uh, sine of x square minus 1 over x into x square minus 1 as x approaches to 1. This is the same as the limit of 1 over x as x approaching to 1 times the limit of sine of x square minus 1 over over x square minus 1 as x approaches to 1. Ahuna mazichiga badam observe arguli the limit of this part is this limit is 1. Okay. Again, the limit of 1 over x 
asx approaches to one as it chigar one and directly substitute madrag in chalalal one over one is one so this is one times one the result is one so here here the limit of f of x as x approaches to one mendeni setan one it's not either plus or minus infinity so so x is equal to one is not is not a vertical asymptote therefore therefore the only vertical asymptote is x is equal to zero is the only vertical asymptote the vertical asymptote of f which f the function in c this function will have only x is equals to zero as a vertical asymptote 